His Highness Sheikh Jabba al Mubarak al Hamad al Sabah, the Prime Minister, received with the Minister of State for Cabinet Affairs and Minister of State for Municipality Affairs Sheikh Mohammed Abdullah al Mubarak al Sabah, attending His Excellency Ambassador of the Hashemite Kingdom of Jordan to the State of Kuwait, Mohammed al Qaid, who delivered to His Highness a written message from His Excellency Prime Minister of Jordan, Dr. Abdullah al Nasur. The message covered existing bilateral relations and other issues of mutual interest. His Highness Sheikh Jabba al Mubarak al Hamad al Sabah, the Prime Minister, received with the Minister of State for Cabinet Affairs and Minister of State for Municipality Affairs, Sheikh Mohammed Abdullah al Mubarak al Sabah, attending the President of the Lebanese Press Union, Mohammed al Balbiki, and his accompanying delegation, who took part in the 10th Arab Media Forum, which convened in the state of Kuwait. His Highness Sheikh Jabba al Mubarak al Hamad al Sabah, the Prime Minister, patronized and attended the opening of the 10th Arab Media Forum held under the theme Media and Peace at Kuwait's Regency Hotel. His Highness the Premier expressed his belief in the important role played by the media in achieving security, peace, and stability in the world, and it contributed to the development of the Arab media towards building bridges of cooperation and strengthening relations within Arab countries. Our correspondent, Sarah Glubb, has this report from the Regency Hotel. The activities of the 10th Arab Media Forum were launched in Kuwait with a grand opening in which Minister of Information and Minister of State for Youth Affairs, Sheikh Salman Sabah al Salam al Hamoud al Sabah, delivered an inspiring speech, followed by Egypt's Minister of Information, Salah Abdel Maqsoud, and the Secretary General of the Forum, Madi al Khamis. During the ceremony, the winners of the 2013 Arab Media Creativity Awards were honored by His Highness Sheikh Jabir al-Mubarak al-Hamad al-Sabah, the Prime Minister, in appreciation for their outstanding contributions to culture and media. It's always a joy, a pleasure. And it's a sense of recognition that you, you don't usually expect. That. People like me, who are not always worried about... Uh, uh, what you call the fame. This forum is a yearly event, this is what I understood, and there are similar events in different Arab countries. We don't have one in Egypt, no, we don't have a, f a forum. But uh, it is int important for journalists, first of all, to get together. I'm happy to be here because I, I meet friends and journalists and press people like myself, and so we exchange ideas and we follow each other and we know each other's minds, how it's working and we can talk freely about the events we're going through. It's an interesting event. Under the slogan Media and Peace during this year's forum, the Kingdom of Bahrain was chosen the capital of Arab media for the year 2013 to 2014. Bahrain deserves it. Al Manama deserves it. The Bahrainis deserve it. Syria deserves it. Every single turbulent uh, uh, a part of the Arab world deserves to to be granted peace, to be granted tranquility, and and at least kind of a truce in order to culminate in ultimate peace. The Arab world has been tortured recently, and throughout the calendar of the 360 days, we have so much pain, we have so much anguish. People are tormented everywhere, and. This forum in Kuwait breeds a good, fresh breath of oxygen in order for people to know that tomorrow is a better day. The ceremony was attended by a number of senior officials in the country, ambassadors, as well as Arab ministers of information, journalists and heads of media institutions throughout the Arab world. The Arab Media Forum is the ideal place for media personalities to gather, communicate and exchange expertise, particularly during this critical period. And this year's slogan, Media and Peace, comes in line with the current issues that are sweeping the Arab world, as without media, there can never be peace. From the Regency Hotel, this is Sarah Glub reporting for English News.